All right, guys, this is a quick update. Today is uh, Saturday morning, January 11th. This morning, around 7.30 or so, I forget the time, there was a, another big earthquake. This one was a 6.0 magnitude, and uh, about an hour later, we had a 3.6. So, yeah, this is uh, scaring uh, everyone. Uh, it, it's kind of tough for a lot of people. I personally am getting used to them and they're not for me anyway they're not as scary as they used to be however these big ones they tend to shake the entire house the floor uh, the beds and everything inside the house tends to move and makes a lot of noise it's it's kind of weird hard to explain uh, but anyway everyone's fine here in Las Marias but there probably was a lot of damage in, in the Guanica area. So I, I do not plan to go down that way today. Uh, what, what I did is I, I had planned to go visit my cousin Yoko in San Sebastian. He, he makes lechon and stuff like that. And I did go visit him around 10 o'clock this morning. And uh, he was there just cleaning up, no lechon. He wasn't selling anything because this, these earthquakes are spooking everyone no one's coming out he did have a couple of friends that came out to help him clean the place up so but what what we agreed on is for next tuesday monday or tuesday i'm gonna go to his farm and uh, we're gonna spend some time in the farm he's gonna show me around and hopefully next saturday things will be back to normal and we can make lechon um Earthquakes have been happening here since the 28th. I arrived Puerto Rico on the 27th and the next day they began and they have not let They haven't let up. They just keep coming and coming. I myself I felt over 50 so far The little ones I'm not really concerned about but it's the big ones the 5.0s and up that they tend to shake the entire house and obviously your concern is I, I all I can think of is how, how do we get the family out of here what is the best exit to leave the house um, and my family they haven't been sleeping in their beds they're sleeping in the uh, in the living room because the exit doors are closer obviously to the living room than they are to the bedrooms I wanted to mention also that I have been getting hundreds and hundreds of messages unfortunately because of work the work that i'm doing here and and spending time with the family i haven't been able to answer most of them i have seen a few i apologize i will read them eventually probably when i get back to the states so yeah um and right now well in about five ten minutes we're getting ready to go to maya west and we're, we're, we were supposed to go shopping but we just heard reports that there are damages on may we there may be some damages on the roads so i don't know we're about to uh experiment uh and just take a chance and head that way also when i when i was coming from my cousin's house or my cousin's business in san sebastian i stopped at the bridge uh, the divide that splits uh, my, uh, San Sebastián from Las Marias. I flew the drone. I got some epic footage. And while I was standing there, I felt the quake. Oh my. I thought, all I could think of is what would happen if this bridge collapsed? That was probably a mistake on my part. I should not be on any bridge um, during quakes. But then again, it was a total surprise. I didn't know it was coming. So we had two major ones today and about six minor ones so far. It's only about 11 o'clock in the morning, 11.30 I think it is now. And they began early around 7.30ish or so. I mean, I could be wrong. I didn't even look at the time. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a, a little update. And also later today, uh, two o'clock local time, today Saturday, there's going to be another video coming out that I recorded Wednesday. Um, this one was the trip that Hayden and I made to Guanica. He already published his and mine is going live today. I edited it yesterday and I went over to Hayden's house 
uh, yesterday afternoon to upload it because he's, he has great Wi-Fi. Uh, so Hayden, if you're watching this, and you probably are, thanks. Um, so yeah, uh, I can see my family now. They're getting ready to go to Mayagüez. So I'll see you probably on my next update or don't miss that video uh, coming, coming out later today in about uh, three hours, I think it is from now. So you can share it forward it to anyone you like it's up to you and again uh, I hope that the damages today were not as great as before however this is the this morning's quake was the third biggest quake since I've been here we've had one that was 6.4 and two six uh, 6.0s so I don't know all this is very confusing my father has been here well he's been here well all of his life and he's 76 years old and he's never felt anything like this the last major quake in Puerto Rico was 60 or 80 years ago so this is definitely unique no one saw this coming so but you know you can't fight nature we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens all right guys have a great day great morning afternoon or day wherever you are I'll see you on the next one